I see you've come back for your daily dose of dingo. Well, you can find this and more alliteration over at my Twitch right there. Enjoy the video. I'll try it. Such a tight game, though. I think I'm just playing Springly Drum and Passing. I was a big fan of Blue Whetstone Blade. So if I play Drum and Pass this turn, the next turn I get to go Grief, Pitch, Street Wraith. Float Black Mana, Cookbook, Discard, Daredevil. Don't pending it. Hmm. All right. I was kind of hoping they on like rhinos instead. It's not a bad draw. Asmo grab cookbook, make food. Yeah, of course, also. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, let's the creature tokens produce mana. It's actually my first time playing Root, so I'm interested to see how it'll be. Next one's gonna be really sweet because I get to go plant token times two. Is that right? Are we gonna chalice on one? Is that what's happening here? Oh, they're playing blue white stone blade. Or I guess domain stone blade. Cryptic coat. So we get to go roots cookbook, make two plant tokens, grow them, and also grief them if I wanted to. It's only once per turn. It's not. As I said, I didn't think it was once per turn. I would definitely play Consider over uh, Preordain. I don't think I'm going to grief him. I think the cards. The cookbooks with the insidious roots are too valuable. Also, these plant tokens keep flickering, and it's really making my eyes sad. Scoop. Oh, well, that was impressive. Good looks for roots. Uh, let's take two thought seizes here. I know you said to make changes, Norwegian, but I thought about it and I was like, eh, hey, we'll just run the three roots. So I couldn't figure out what to cut either. Um, honestly, everything looks pretty good here. Let's go down the Gilded Geese. I could bring in the second Haywire Might. I don't really know what they're playing though. Seems like some five color domain stone forge mystic pile. Yeah, my, like, it might end up being, like, Insidious Roots is just the most broken thing to be doing. I'm keeping it. You just want to be on, like, four Insidious Roots. That's a possibility as well. I deserve this. My hubris. This would be a good hand if the cookbooks were amulets. Overgrown tomb. Mm. It's like the opposite of overgrown tomb. I 
So I can float mana. Try not to die, die a lot. Really rooting for land here. Hit me with land, dealer. Okay. Love to see that. Float the mana. Chapter 2. Probably just main phase this construct. So if I main phase the construct, then I can go get Springly Drum. I'll get a Tide Binder me. Okay. Well, no Springleaf Drum for me. But we'll make a construct. Picked up two hibernations. Unbelievable. 8 8 your turn. They probably have pending or binding or Tef. It's Steph. I kind of just want a needle to fairy. Not good though. Nazis. Fallen Shinobi, Cryptic Coat, Counterspell. Needling the Tarn doesn't do anything. Shinobi's a problem. The Cryptic Coat's a everything in their hands a problem. I think I'm gonna take Fallen Shinobi Counterspell. And just like hope to rip an Asmo off the top. I'm my best pet. Me thinks. Your pal Andrew. Andrew, thank you for the two months. You are my pal. But only for two months. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, your turn. Asmo, please. Under city sewers. Very cool. I do think cryptic coat, cryptic coat, excuse me. I almost said cryptic, like, command. I do think cryptic coat has been, like, pretty impressive. I just passed the turn. <sighs> anyway, goose time. Dothy doesn't do anything. Maybe I was just supposed to eat a food here. I might have subtlety or something. No subtlety. Pure Dane. All I want is Asmo. They're not playing Cryptico, they must have Counterspell. I have Dead Draws in my deck too. Like the Not Dead. Next turn I can go goose plus eat a food if I don't die here. I died. 
Okay. Yeah, it's snappy. That's why they didn't want to tap out. Makes sense. Right, let's grab endurance. Shield rate. I don't think I want Dothy. Let me take one force. Second force might be good too. Second haywire might. I'm not sure this is a goose matchup either. Their stuff's gonna be unblockable. Dismember's not too shabby either. I could take that over Grist. I think Grist might be too good. Here I can skimp on one oval chase and bring in a dismember. Let's do that. Scam hand. It's like a self scamming hand. No lands. Oh boy. I'm gonna scry for grief. This is quite the hand. So I gotta keep second land on top then. If no grief. I don't think it's very reasonable to bin second land here. Let me see what you're working with. Oh my god, I'm dead. A sanctifier, solitude, solitude, sword of feast and famine, to fairy ephemerant. Okay, I'm gonna take sanctifier. Solitude ephemerant is gonna rock my world. Yeah, for me, I'm very dead. Save me, Grist. In Roots. In Benoval Chase, though. Xander Manor. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Solitude Ephemerant. I'm not going to hit Grist for three. At least this is an undying effect, because then they could have killed Grist. It's only going to be very, very bad for me instead of devastating. Still might be okay here, though. Grist to one. Oh, true oval chase. Alright, let's plus Grist first. Bin dismember. Bin oval chase. Get it back. Urza Saga token. 3-3. Three, three. Trade. Mayhaps. Maybe I don't even trade. Nah, yeah, let's trade. I think we could play Protect the Grist. We know they have a Teferi. Hey, Hoffy. I think I'm going to name Teferi and be Hobzy. How you doing? Okay. They knew I was going to name Teferi and gave up. Excellent. And there's one match left, so we're going to wait for this match. Oh, it's games. I'll give you a pass. Oh, thank you. Scam Overgrown Tomb untapped. Evoke my grief. Pitch the not dead. Put them down to three cards. Oh, it's the mirror match. Kind of. What does this do? Mill two cards, put a permanent card from among them into your hand, gain two life. Take cookbook. Scam, take roots. 
Okay, your turn. Play Dothy next turn. GG. GG. Maybe. Maybe not. Milled land land. Scoop. Uh, let's take some graveyard hate. Like endurance is probably fine. A wire might's pretty decent. Force of vigor. I'm gonna go down an oval chase. Probably down a needle in the mirror as well. Needling cookbook does not seem beneficial to me. Let's go up the dismembers and down the geese. Maybe down a street wraith. I don't know, we're just doing some jazz sideboarding. Just whatever we're feeling. Sounds good. Sorry, this isn't in my title, but this is, um... I don't think I ever uploaded this to Moxfield, either. It's a rude scam. There you go. Now it's on the Moxfield. It's like jazz, baby. Alright, that actually makes me want to play Haywire Might and Exile the Surza Saga. Ideal top deck. Will you play two decks that you hate put together? Absolutely. Secretly one of my favorite archetypes. Multiple decks that I hate. Swamp. Walk the Void. I think they have like Bolt. They might have Bolt. They might have, um. What's it called? Galvanic Blast. No Bolt nor Gal Blast. They might just be still dead to this Dothy. They need like Asmo here. I'm just gonna hold these two because I think holding the not dead is gonna be valuable. The Dothies are clocking them pretty well. I can hold the Asmo for a turn, I think. Picked up in team. Hmm. Bale of Summer. Okay, now I can bend the Not Dead and then bend whatever I draw. And then Asmo. Murder in team? Murder them? Do I play second cookbook? I think I do play second cookbook, but it's close. Am I supposed to hold it? It's better to play it if I draw second oval chase, or if I draw oval chase, but I guess I could just untap and play it. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to hold it. I don't know if it matters. It's probably just like, Minor percentage points at this point. I think we're pretty far ahead here. Got the concession. Okay. Yeah, sure. Not the best hand I've seen. 
But it goes turn one cookbook. Turn two Dothy. And we can go from there. Chigantha might mean it's zoo. Ragavan. Time to lose the Ragavan. So I'm surprised there's no Bowmasters in here. Ouch. My Dothy. I need Nasmo. Nasmo off the top. One time. One time for the one time. Cast my Dothy. Mm hmm. It sucks that I can't not dead this either. Because not dead, you can only target stuff that you control. So I can't even like attack plus not dead plus these two exile each other anyways. I don't want to name. I don't think they're playing Teferi in the main deck. I could just name Dothi. Can't think of anything good to name. Could just be like a random fetch land. Nah, I'm not gonna spend too much time stressing this. Wooded foothills. I don't know how many Wooded Foothills they play. I'm hoping it's not very many. I'm hoping it's a lot, rather. I hope there's one in their hand right now. Windswept Teeth. Shit. Usually Windswept Teeth and Wooded Foothills are the go-to fetches for this deck. Someone will play Misty over Wooded Foothills, though. So I've been overgrown to him, eat food, untap at 12, attack them, make a construct token. Hope to rip Asmo, like every turn of this game. Yep, Kabu. Nakdol. One Asmo, please. Not an Asmo. Asmo? Okay. What do we want to get Zoo? Legion's End is probably fine. Shadow Spear for racing. Haywire Mike can take out. A Seiju or Leyline, and then Force of Vigor could be okay for Scion shenanigans. I don't think I want Dothi or Needle. I think Shieldred's too slow. Dismember's probably fine. I think I want to board out all my Street Raids. Not sure this is a matchup where I want Street Raid. Or all the Gilded Gooses for that matter. Sorry, Gilded Geese. Don't know though. Not very good at boarding with these Asmo decks typically. They're tough to board with though. This hand doesn't do anything. Hand makes Asmo. Joel, thank you for the 15. Appreciate it. <laughs> 
one more month until you find out. Rags turn. Cookbook, crack, OG tomb, cookbook, ass, gray, there's no scion, eight, it's close enough to hydrate for me to think about hydrating, no scion me, oh god. Uh oh, Dingo's in danger. Like a lot of danger. I've been Splinter Twin. Take four. The crazy part is that Force of Vigor is not even good against this. Alright, we're we finishing the modern challenge. Oh, it's gone. I'll never know. Okay, I give up. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's not amazing, though. Haywire, a goal. Yeah, I gotta play the format of heat. Sadly. Another cookbook here. Then we'll set up for Urza Saga. Charlie's done. We're just finishing up this league. We've got two more matches in this league. I ended up 3 4 in the challenge, played against too much living end at the end. Yeah, this deck probably needs Pick Your Poison, right? Pick Your Poison's very good against Leyline Scion stuff. Instead, we have Force of Vigor, which is like fine. The issue with Force of Vigor is just. You can't kill Leyline plus Scion with it. When Outburst gets banned, what's next? That's a good question. Gotta figure out my next gimmick. Yeah, we all throw a party. Of course. I'm gonna discard the not dead. Make a construct, attempt to block. Okay, that happens. Another one. Rudy's. BFG, thanks for the sub, or thanks for the raid, not the sub. Also the sub. Not you resub, but I appreciate it. Rhino's done. Rhino's ended up three four. Based. Yeah, sorry, it's not eight rack. Apologize. Just some rooty as most stuff. 
titles inaccurate. Three, four with rhinos. There we go. Follow the code. I played uh, Rainbow Rhinos with Kavu. As like your pivot. It was alright. More importantly, how was your stream, BFG? Saw you were in the challenge. Seven seven Asmo. Are they just dead? Five. Oh, yeah, they're just dead. Killing them would be probably pretty good, huh? Hey, killing them was good. I was taking endurance and maybe Thoughtsy Shadow Spear. Take out Pithing Needle, take out Haywire Might. Mmm, Thothy isn't the greatest either. I think we we'll probably remove a few Dothys against them. Then bring in like Shelly as well. I don't know if this is the proper way of sideboarding, but it's how I'm gonna send it. So we will see. Mmm, it's a whole lot of nothing. Also, a whole lot of nothing. I'll keep this mediocre hand, I suppose. Maybe I should have kept Opal Chase over Gilded Goose. A goose. My goose. Yawn zero. I could draw a grief, that'd be ideal. I'm gonna surveil first, look for grief. Surveil. Grist. Nah. Asmo Grief. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Yeah, alphabetically pretty close, I suppose. Sal's Ragavan. Tax me, cast Ragavan. Yeah, Urza Saga's not going to be good against this NG3 explosives since I sort I boarded out the needle. I should have left in the needle, I suppose. Eh, I should probably just concede this game. I guess I can eat the food and then cast Shieldred. Hope Shieldred sticks, but the chances that it sticks are so unlikely. With them having three cards in hand, plus these. More EI. Bins preared in. Bobble, true DRC.
Peace out, Frank. Have a good night. Okay, Shelly Sticks. He. I give up. Let's go to game three. Yeah, we're doing the morning challenge. I'm on the East Coast, so I should actually be able to wake up for him. Fingers crossed. Ah, the mana base is so clunky. Feels like it's playing too many basics. Eleven AM Eastern. Truly, I'll wake up. Ragster. In this, pick it up. I need Asmo. Goose. Spear. I'm gonna do this for F6 value. I'm just gonna let it connect, I think. Jumping with the goose doesn't do that much. All of the goose in general doesn't do that much. I think we're gonna lose this matchup. Really needed Asmo that turn. Recycled Street Wraith into Asmo. Just like kill this. Oh, that would have been so good. That also ends the game on the spot here. Smoge. It's always been my issue with these Asmo decks is just the lack of card selections. So detrimental. Eon one. Well, playing out the Shadow Spirit doesn't do anything. I can make another food with the goose, I guess. I mean, if they want to pop this EE on one, I'm actually not too sad about it either. Got a lot of food. Wow, they actually popped it. Very surprised. It makes sense. Gonna block and then play Shadow Spear, pick it back up. In a perfect world, anyways. I feel like them popping that EE was probably worse for them than it was for me. So I get to pick it back up. But now we're falling behind. Bye bye, Basaju. A block. Now they should have just counterspelled the Shadow Spear. If 
they were going to counterspell something. I guess I didn't realize I was going to get back the oval chase. Which is why I made a mistake, because I shouldn't have shocked until after the Shadow Spear. Because there's a chance that they just forget, and then they let the Shadow Spear resolve. It didn't matter, because they let it resolve anyways, but I sequenced kind of poorly. Is that the third EI? Second EI. I gained six life a turn and stayed alive for a while. But I definitely need like an Urza Saga off the top. Stay in this game. Brotherhood's End. Goodbye artifacts. Alright, well now I need a miracle to stay in this game. Shieldred? Grief wouldn't be bad either. I'd welcome a Grief here. I think I just have the one Surveil land. Probably GG. I'm gonna hold this though. I could drag Cookbook. My grist. Oh, that would have been so good too. I could cast it. Casting it doesn't win me the game. Bolt me. Alright. Prediction time chat. What we 3 2? I'm going to keep this hand. I don't think it's good enough. But it's got potential. Just needs a cookbook. Or grief. Either or would be really good here. I see the potential in you. My opponent said you again. I'm pretty sure we played them in the challenge. Or was last league one of the two? Gilded Goose, Gilded Go. Living End. Schwamp, not Living End. Ah, it's the mirror. Okay, well, that sucks. I think I'm just needling cookbook. As sad as that is for me. Because cookbook would be a great engine for me. Goose. Are they going to kill my goose? Nope. Not enough food. Maybe I should have just named Asmo. Pitch Oval Chase. Brief Oval Chase Cookbook. It's the literal mirror. I forgot to float mana. Oh shit. That was bad. I forgot to do something. And it was float mana. I meant to float off this. And then use this this for Dothi. Mistakes were made. Take three. My opponent asked me if they had any tips. Or if I had any tips for them. And I said float mana off of evoked grief with your spring leaf drum like I forgot to do. Pro tip. So I think they're just going to make food and then kill grief probably.
Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this game. I'll scoop. I don't think Gilded Goose is even good in this deck. And then, like... Mm, maybe Gris is bad in the mirror. I'm just going to pass. I don't think I want another land here. I think I'm good on two for a little bit. See, part of being a mod is listening to the streamer. And if I ask you to, you know, not advertise in my stream and you don't, then I can't have you be a mod, you know? Mm -hmm. well, this sucks. I wish I had a green card to pitch. It's not bad. Alright, well, I got another rule in this chat, and it's called... Be respectful towards other streamers, yeah? If you can't follow that rule, then, well, I would prefer you not be in the chat at all. Let alone be a mod, you know? Now you could be FG. I've always had that rule, no matter like what who the other streamer is, because people have come in here and said bad things about like Doomwake and Spike, and I just don't tolerate it. You gotta be respectful to the people creating content, because I am one of those people creating content, and I would, you know, I appreciate that chat is respectful towards me, and I would would hate to see like me be slandered in a different chat for like you know behind my back on top of that i just like i don't tolerate it homie only zone i'm dead Oh, yeah, yeah, you can definitely disrespect people that don't stream. Which is why I always make fun of May and DT because he's not streaming anymore. Okay, we're super dead. Yeah, be excellent to each other. Just like how the doubters guessed excellently as well. Anyway, top eight, Jakey, hell yeah. Alrighty, chat. That's gonna do it for me today. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>